Hey everyone, my name is Key and um, I have a message for you, a dream that I had, but I want to let you know this is for everybody, anybody, I don't care what um, your sexual preference is, I don't care what your mistakes have been, I don't care if you're in prison or a free man, I don't care what color you are, this message is from God and I, I believe this, this dream was given to me by God and I'll, I'll tell you why so you can let the Holy Spirit uh, deal with you in the areas. Um, whether you want to take it or not. But there was a massive earthquake in California, San Diego area. That was when the first earthquake hit. This magnitude was above anything the world has ever seen. It was so massive in my dream that you know how rocks, uh, uh, rock slides go? Uh, I'm from California. I live in Alabama now, but many times we have rock slides and uh, landslides. This earthquake was so massive, the whole mountain caved in. Okay, parts of the state, I want to say island, broke off and went into the sea. It was devastation everywhere. Now, I started waking up from these dreams. There was three dreams I had in a row when I started worrying because my family is from California. I have family that still lives there. So I said, God, what is this? As a pastor, when God gives you revelation of something, you take note. So I said, God, what's happening? What's going on? I started researching and Googling and, and all this stuff to try to figure out what was going to happen. Finds out that California is overdue for a massive earthquake. They're preparing everything. Everywhere you look, people are preparing for this massive earthquake that's overdue. There's a large volcano. I, for, I forget. I think it's in Wyoming. Um that's overdue to erupt. The magma is coming up to the surface fast. Super volcano, they call it. Um, I believe it's Yellowstone. Yellowstone or Yosemite National Park, one of those parks, but it's a big park in Wyoming. And there's so much destruction that's going to happen that I started reading the Bible in Revelation. And do you know that the next seal that we're going to go into, you know, the seven seals, we have passed five of them. The next one is the sixth seal. This is the seal that says there's a massive earthquake that's going to hit the earth. And I don't believe that California earthquake is just going to be one earthquake. I believe it's going to be multiple earthquakes, major. But the big one is going to wake a lot of people up that they're going to know that God is in the midst. They also speak about a... a um, wormwood in the Bible in Revelations that a, bat, a massive star is going to fall from the sky and hit the ocean. And so I started researching that too. I just, it, it just, things was hitting me left and right. And this is after my dream. My dream started it, but I just started, in the natural, I started Googling and, and looking for this stuff. There's a planet called Planet X, as they've been talking about since 1960 something, or maybe before that. And it's coming toward us. People in different countries in the world can see it on the horizon when the sun's going down. They can see it behind the sun. It's a slingshot. It's coming around and it's coming in our solar system. And with it is a bunch of meteorites that's tailing behind it. And they said once it flings off from the sun's gravitational pull, or whatever it's called, I'm not a scientist, I'm a preacher, but it's going to throw meteorites at the earth when it passes by us which we know the Bible says in the end days when the sixth seal sounds or you know things happen um, there's going to be meteorites that hits the earth now about that the trumpets all over the world people have been hearing a loud trumpet it's not like a trumpet like Louis Armstrong plays but a trumpet, like if you can imagine one of those big old horns that extend on the ground, you know, that, that kind of sound, it's everywhere. I'm talking about Switzerland, uh, Russia, India. It is everywhere. And it's brought, it started January, March, February, and now we're in uh, April. 
it's uh, you can Google this stuff, and I don't want you to listen to my word for the stuff that I'm saying, but I want you to be prepared for the coming of Christ. I don't care what your poison is. I don't care what your sin is. God is a faithful God and that he loves us. He loves his children. If you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I am confident in the God that I serve that he'll forgive your sins. I'm confident in that. Repentance is key for this day and age. We have all done wrong. We have all um, fallen short of the glory of God. The Bible says, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. The Bible also says, if you say you're without sin, you deceive yourself and the truth is not in you. So I want to be truthful and I want to admit I'm a sinner in needing of a savior. The Bible says, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you'll be saved. That's the criteria. The Holy Spirit then comes inside of you and lives and dwells in you. And he teaches you how to live a godly life. Not one full of religion and tradition that the world sees in the church today, but one full of relationship with Christ. His blood is the only thing that can cover us in this time. We can build many mansions and many uh, escape routes and different things underground. But really, what about your soul? What about your soul in these times? The devil wants us distracted, people. The devil wants us distracted. He throws a little election. In America, we're going through an election. And our eyes are so focused on that. The devil gives us war. And our eyes are so focused on that. Depression. Everything. And our eyes are so focused on the worldly things, but there's something heavenly coming. Something that we have to be prepared for. Why is the devil distracting us? Because he knows if we accept Christ, the Christ is going to be reverted in our hearts and our souls. If he can just keep us distracted for a little while longer, the souls will be his. But I decree and declare right now that salvation is the Lord's. If you want to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, pray this prayer with me. Dear Heavenly Father, I accept you right now as my Lord and my Savior. Come into my heart and change my mind, change my thinking. I understand that I'm a sinner in needing of a Savior. You are a sovereign God. You are a holy God. And I want you as my Lord. And my Savior, forgive my sins that I committed against you and for others in the world. Teach me your ways, O oh Lord. Teach me your ways. In the name of Jesus Christ, the only God that can save, I pray. Amen. I pray if you pray that prayer, that you seek out Christ. Seek out a real, intimate relationship with him. Don't think... Don't take my word for it. Research these things I've told you about. The Great Earthquakes. The Super Volcano. Um, Planet X. Nubula, some people call it. The Meteorites. Revelations. First, second, third, fourth, fifth seal. The sixth was on its way. Research it. Don't take my word for it. Now's the time. I love you. And I pray that you stay encouraged.